Welcome to the Milk and Cookies podcast. This is the super amazing podcast that has everything, absolutely everything to do with American football and absolutely nothing to do with Milk and Cookies. My name is Alex. I'm joined with Anthony today. Leon is temporarily away, but he will be back later. Today, he's not dead. He's, he's not. Yes, thank you. He's not dead. He's, he's still here. Anyways, we are marking our journey and our start of our divisional breakdown analysis series. Basically, what's going to happen is we're going to take each NFL division, NFC East, NFC whatever, all eight of them, do a video of each one, break down all four teams in that division, give a prediction of what we think they're going to do, uh, playoffs, just basic all-around breakdown. So today, we're going to start with the NFC South. Uh, just in case you don't, the NFC South is the Bucks, the Saints, the Panthers, and the Falcons. So, Anthony, why don't you just start us off with your team? I'd love to, Alex. Starting off with the Bucks, honestly, call me crazy. I do not care. The Bucks are going fourteen and three. You okay. bring back your twenty-two starters, offense and defense. This draft was an amazing draft. You get Joe Tryon. You get Kyle Trask, the future successor of. Tom Brady, let's hope and say, because, you know, Bucks fans, we've been through horrible quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to name them. We've been through horrible quarterbacks. But you look up at the schedule and you see week one, it's against the Cowboys. That's a win, not America's team. Week two is the Falcons. Falcons are rebuilding. They're in that rebuilding stage. Coming off of not a good season last year. Week three, we were on the road at the Rams. I see that being our first loss. But I see it being a tough. I see it being a tough game, though. But it comes down to a loss. Hate to say it. Mm-hmm. And then week four, we're in Foxborough. I say Brady gets his revenge and wins, and then the rest is all history. But the Bucks are in shape to run it back, and I believe we will run it back. We I mean, have all we have all our starters. We got everything. I mean, as much as I hate to say it, because of Tom Brady, I'm confident the Bucks are going to do good this season again. Um, the offense is the same. The defense is the same. You literally drafted for depth more than anything else. Which yeah, is, that's on. When a team drafts for depth primarily and not for a need, that's when you know a team is not struggling. Uh, I'm with you on that. I think the Bucks are going to do well. Um, fourteen and three. If I mean, I'm not too sure about fourteen and three, but I can I can agree with somewhere similar around there. Uh, in terms of running it back, uh. I'm going to disagree with you on that one, but we'll, we'll, you'll, you'll see why later when I give my prediction. Uh, anyway, next up is the New Orleans Saints. Uh, as everybody knows, the Saints is pretty much the same team. They had huge cap implications uh, over the offseason. They cut a lot of people's contracts, kept a lot of people on payroll. Uh, the biggest loss is definitely Drew Brees. The uh, basically, successor. yeah, so Drew Brees is gone. Uh, he retired effectively a couple months ago. His successor is former Bucks quarterback James Winston, who I'm not too high on, and also uh, quarterback turned wide receiver turned running back toward tight end uh, Taysom Hill, who I'm really not convinced that he's all that. But and then you got Ian Book, and and then there's Ian Book that was thrown into the mix of that. But I mean, other than quarterback, I still think their defense is good. They still have Marshall Lattimore. They still have that defensive line that's absolutely killer. I still love the Saints' offensive line, Michael Thomas. Uh, Alvin Kamara. I mean, Kamara is amazing. Car. Kamara. Oh, Kamara. I mean, honestly, say the Saints is one of those weird teams that they're already a solidly built good team. It's just the quarterback situation. But I still yeah. think the Saints are going to do well, per se. Right. Um, I don't have any doubt in my mind that they're going to be below average – you know, losing yeah. season. I still think I mean, it be, could be a losing season. It could be, especially with now the 17 game. I mean, honestly, there's no such thing as a 500 season unless you go 8-8-1. Eight, eight and one. But despite despite that whole thing, I'm still – I think the Saints can still be playoff contenders. Maybe not definite ones, but I still think that they still have a good chance. A wild card. Yeah, wild card. Definitely not uh, divisional winners. The Bucks are pretty much locked that up until Brady retires, but – um, Brady might play till he's 50. I hope he does, and I hope he gets his knees blown out next year. That's uh, me. I, I know. That's why I said it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, I mean, yeah, I, other than that, I think the Saints are golden. Just quarterback. Yeah. I mean, do you, what else do you got for me? Is that pretty much it? Pretty much. Out uh, of the Saints, but pretty much quarterback's their only issue right now. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay, so let's shift to one of the lesser of the two. Uh, 
So the Carolina Panthers are still, I think, are still put in a very unique and interesting situation. They're, it's a losing season for them. It's definitely a losing season, but they're in a rebuild. They're not in a rebuild. Rahul is a good head coach with a, that was dealt a bad hand. You got rid of Bridgewater. You got rid of Bridgewater, who ate up a lot of the of the cap. It was a twenty two million dollar a year contract. Sends with the Broncos. And now he's he's with yeah he's with the Broncos. Yeah. And then you traded for Darnold, who is still young and still could prove himself because he was with the Jets, which I think Darnold can still be good. Uh, take that away. I mean, the defense is still fantastic. Oh yeah, and then you Why got McCaffrey. Yeah, you still have McCaffrey. The wide receiver core is really, really good. The O-line is average. It's not the best. It's not the worst, but it's serviceable. Um, I mean, honestly, the Panthers still look like a great team. It's just – It looks like a great team, but it just – it doesn't come together. The chemistry to me is just not there. I mean, the thing is that when you go heavy in free agency in the draft, you need to establish a chemistry. It's going to take about a year or two for that to really set in, but, I mean, the Panthers are still a team that is – drafting for need you know signing for need not really for chemistry or yeah i guess backups or anything else um despite that i still don't think the panthers are going to do very well no i don't see them doing well at all either no there's just something i don't know darnold darnold is i haven't seen enough from darnold it's i, I feel like the, it's a prove it here for him because yeah he was in new york with not a good team, let's say. Yeah. You're no, not a good team. And it's a prove it year for him with the, with the Panthers because you have an average offense. Mm-hmm. So it just prove it year, I guess. And if he doesn't do well, mm. is it Sayonara or do you keep him? I guess it just depends on what his stats show at the end of the day and what their seers can do. I mean, I have no doubt that the defense is going to be – good i believe that the panthers defense is what's going to keep it in those close games oh yeah 100%. it's just we need to see what donald is capable of we already know what caffrey's capable of. we already know about robbie anderson uh, the o-line is serviceable i mean it's just it's it's up to donald now donald is yeah. going to be determining if that team is going to be a dark horse candidate for wild card playoffs or top 10 in the draft yeah i say top 10 in the draft i agree with you i say top 10 in the draft maybe uh, top 15 actually I still say top ten. Or top five. No, not top five. They're not that bad. Uh, all right, now, like final final team in the NFC South, the Atlanta Falcons, a team that is probably the Falcons. worst off in this entire division. A hundred percent. A hundred percent agree. I think the the excuse me, I think the Falcons are in a complete flip flop situation with the Panthers. I think their offense is proven. Their offense is dynamic. Great. Yeah, but doesn't Julio want out? I mean, dude, they've been they've been saying rumors about Julio wanting to leave since like he signed his second contract after his rookie year. Every every off season is oh Julio can be traded to here. Oh, this is what Julio's worth. It's like no, it's all talk but no show. They've been doing it for years, and if he's not going, I doubt he's going to be leaving. Especially now with Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan. Matt and... Ryan's in his final years. Julio Jones is. God knows when he's going to be He's getting there, but he's not going to be able to hold on much longer. He's up, there, he's up there in age. Yeah, I mean, you still got Kelvin Ridley. Now you got Kyle Pitts. The old line so is – So you got awful. another offensive weapon. Yes, absolutely. I'm, the Atlanta Falcons, I've always loved watching the Falcons offense. I think it's absolutely fantastic to watch back? them play. Huh? Who's their running back? That's a great question. I almost said Devonta they, Smith. They had Todd Gurley. He's – Done. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Devontae Freeman. I almost said Devontae Freeman, but that was years ago. Yeah, they still have Gurley. That, that was two years ago. Mm-hmm. I mean, they still have Gurley. I just don't have think Gurley, Gurley. But I don't think he's capable Gurley, anymore. Gurley's a bust. He's not a bust. It's just I mean, injuries he, killed his career now. Yeah. The whole but arthritis in the knees is really what's slowing him down. He used to be great, but now mm-hmm. he's just not worth it. Um, their, their offense is good. Mm-hmm. It's just their defense – their defense that, is, it's not is, there. Their defense There's, is awful. Who's their star player on defense? I mean, they still have they still have Deion Jones. They still have Grady Jarrett. I mean, they still have two key great front seven players. Their D yeah. line isn't awful. It's not the best. It's not awful. Uh, I right. like their linebacker core. It's the corner. It's basically it's the secondary that kills. Secondary them. that needs help. They had Keon O'Neal, who was one of my favorite. 
uh, strong safeties in the league because I liked how he played, but they let him walk. Uh, he did not perform as well as what he was anticipated, which is a shame. But yeah, he did let they yeah. let their they let their good sa- uh, strong safety walk. Um, I mean, it, their defense is gone. It's the same thing that I always say about the Cowboys. It's their secondary is what kills them at the end of the day. The Falcons mm-hmm. are capable of putting up. 20, capable, 30, yeah. even 40 point uh-huh. games. I agree with you on that. They're capable of putting up those points. It's just they end up blowing the leads. The D, yeah, well, that's sorry, but... Torin. If you're watching, if you're going to watch this, sorry. I know you're a Falcon fan, but it's the it's defense. True. The defense is what kills it at the end of the day. Defense is it? What's, what's the saying that I always go Offense sells tickets, but defense wins games. Yeah. Atlanta has no problem with the ticket sales, it's just they have a problem with yeah. winning games. Once they figure out the defensive situation, if they still have Matt Ryan on that team and every offensive weapon, I think they'll be good. I think they can be fantastic. And in the draft man. this year, did you really see them taking a defensive player? I know they did. I know they, they took I know like, they, they took some. They were a lot more defensive heavy than offensive heavy, obviously. I just I couldn't I can't remember any names that stand out right after. Right. The game. That's like Yeah. Alrighty. So all right, Anthony. Uh now that we kinda of went over all four teams, give me give me record predictions for all four teams. All right, you know me with the Bucks, mm-hmm. fourteen and three, okay. or better. Fourteen okay. and three or better. Mm-hmm. Saints, I'll give them seventeen game season. I'll give them, I'll give them ten and seven. Okay, but I don't see them making the playoffs. I don't okay. see them make ten and seven, but no playoffs. Panthers, I'm gonna say seven and ten. Okay. And then with the Falcons, I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them four and thirteen. Okay. Well, another year solid. of. I know it's another year of losing, mm-hmm. but it's gonna be a rebuilding year. It's gonna be okay. a learning year with a new head coach also. That's true. That is true. They do have a new. They have a new front office, but I think yeah. New front office. It's always horrible first mm-hmm. year. Alrighty, I'm about to shatter a lot of people's souls right now. I have the Bucks going 13 and four, um, pretty close to 14 and three. But I mean, just probably give you one more. Extra Who do you see loss. us losing to? I I would have to go back and look, but I just I just record numbers. I didn't record like oh. games and everything. Yeah. Uh, so I have the Bucks going 13 and four. I mean, no team can be perfect, especially with the 17 game schedule. Uh, Unless you go 17, no. I mean, which is highly unlikely even now because they have the extra game. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have the Saints going 10 and seven, making the playoffs. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me specify. Uh, I have the Bucks going number two in the playoffs. I have the Saints going ten and seven at number five in the playoffs. I have the Panthers going four and thirteen, and the Falcons going four and thirteen. So I, I really threw the pan. I know I was talking good about the Panthers because of defense and the offense, and I thought it was good, but I think Darnold's going to kill it somehow. As much as I would love to see him, if Darnold play, gets injured, I, I don't even think he's injured. I just think he's going to kill it. I just don't see him some somehow. I just don't see him performing to the level that everybody's expecting as much as I hate to say it because as somebody that played against Darnold a total of six games in over three years, I never hated him. He was one of those yeah. quarterbacks in the divisions that I never hated. Yeah. Uh, now as for those, uh, the, the Bucks and the saints that were in the playoffs, I say the saints are going to be first round exits to uh, Washington football team. And the bucks will beat number seven, Seattle, but end up losing to the Rams in the second round. I have obviously, you know, I'm a Bucks fan. I know you and are our, our viewer our viewers have known I'm a Bucks fan. They're running it back. I'm calling it. That's fine. Yeah, you can you can say that all I'm calling it. That's that's fine. I think I think Matt Ryan and the revamped Rams can totally put a hurting on the league this year. So you said Matt Ryan and the revamped Rams. Did I say Rams? Matt Ryan? I would say Matt Stafford. Same thing. Matt, Matt Stafford with the Rams. That's gonna be interesting. Mm-hmm. Finally out of Detroit. Yeah, I know. But anyway, so we just went over the South. Uh, next episode, we will do the NFC West, which will be probably one of the most heavily competitive divisions, in my opinion. So, Tyler Murray, Russell Wilson, Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance. It's it's Matt Stafford. It's it's gonna be a good. That's gonna be a good episode. Lots of stuff to go. That's gonna on. yeah. That's gonna be a great episode. Absolutely. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell us what we did right. Tell us what we did wrong. Uh, give us your prediction on those four teams. What about stupid teams. predictions? Uh, I don't really have one for this week or this episode. I, I don't have you, one either. I know yours. But... So, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> just tell us what we did right. Tell us what we did wrong. You know the drop. 
uh go ahead and follow us on social media we have an instagram we have a twitter set up we've had it open for a bit basically the instagram we just let you know when you know stuff is posted the video a yeah. little bit of a description uh, your favorite team also let us know yeah i know tell us what your favorite team is but anyway thank you so much for watching we'll see you all real soon